Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's just make music with our mouth this episode. I feel like I'm always starting the Doug Funny song whenever I do that. Is there a bug? Did you see the bug, dog meat? Hey, dog meat. That's you know what? You just be you. Green muttering in his sleep last night. Floating like that. That's so strange. Okay, let's start the video. Cautionary tale, my friends. So. Um, this is directed to any of you folk that are interested in getting into this line of work, or you're already in this video game making video kind of line of work. Um, if you play enough copyrighted music on a video, it will get banned, which is why I'm re-recording this video. Remember last last episode where I was like. I'm drunk. I don't listen to blues, and then I listened to the blues station on my on my pit boy, and well, <laughs> my video got banned in a lot of places, which happens sometimes. Usually Germany. I don't know why they got some weird copyright laws over there or something. But uh, I was looking down the list. It was like Germany. Okay, okay, that's normal. Um, okay, Netherlands. Ah, oh, that's shitty. I like the Netherlands. Uh, okay, okay. Canada. Ooh. That's a, that's a tough one. That, I'm, uh, that's a tough one. UK. Ooh, that's another tough one. Ooh, that's a tough one. To, let's slide. United States. Okay, we have to re-record. That was the straw. It was the USA. So, yeah, we're doing this again. Even Well, I'm doing this again. You haven't done it. Whatever. Anyway, hi. I'm Grim. <laughs> We're playing Fallout 4. Let's talk to ah, people. Hello. There you are. I have a job for you. You don't say. So long as it doesn't involve drinking from any more poison water features. No. Not so much. There is a woman. One of our own. Or she was. Gwyneth. But she's given herself over to something... dark. The Confessor ordered Zealot Thiel to track her down, but the heretic eluded her. Now Gwyneth has begun profaning our holy sites with her mad ravings, openly flouting the word of Adam. The High Confessor wants her found and executed. It's harsh, yo. Uh, how about you try talking it out, huh? You can't try talking to her? Maybe she'll see reason. Won't lie. Sister Gwyneth was a good woman. But whatever's driven her to this lunacy, I'm not sure how much it's left behind. Regardless... The High Confessors decided her abandonment of Adam's too great a sin. The refusal of his grace can't be permitted. Alright. I'll find her, Grand Zealot. Good. Speak to Zealot Thiel. She should be able to point you towards Gwyneth's trail. Bring Adam's judgment to the heretic. Now go. Well, that's kind of messed up if you decide... If you're like a person that's uh, looking for some spirituality in your post-apocalypse and you check out the Church of Adam and decide you don't like it anymore, they'll just kill you for not liking it. What's up with that? That ain't right. Anyway. Whatever. That's how they do things. They're kind of assholes like that. You. Pardon me. Glory to Adam, sister. You yeah, whatever. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? Uh, purple haze. He came to me and told me the secret to overcoming all life's challenges. And for a mere 500 caps, that secret can be yours too. I believe I'll pass. But nevertheless, should you need something for myself or the other zealots, you need only ask. Right. Uh, did you have any visions? Adam ever grant you any visions? Sort of. My parents were settlers. Tried to carve out a life for us in the fog. Moved us all out there when I was just a girl. Made do for a couple years. Adam's Vale hadn't claimed the whole of the island back then. But then came the storm. A rad storm. Unlike anything the island had ever seen. Our little homestead didn't stand a chance. I was the only one to survive. Thanks to my blessing. Adam's blessing. I wandered for days. Living off whatever I could scrounge. Drinking puddles and salt water. Until I stumbled on a spring. The spring. 
vision I had. It felt like it lasted for days. I was back in the storm, but I wasn't afraid. I was in control. When I finally came to, I was in Richter's arms. He carried me back here and raised me to serve Adam. All right, that's neat. Uh, Sister Gwyneth, what's up? The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well, as I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange moods. She was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her, at least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. Hmm, I see. What happened then? What caused Gwyneth to turn her back on Adam? I can only tell you what I saw. She was praying quietly. When she suddenly leapt up and began to shout that Adam is a lie, when Tectus confronted her, she struck him with such force that she knocked him to the ground. When she realized what she'd done, she fled. Tectus wanted us to send someone after her, make an example. But at the time, it was not his decision. Confessor Martin insisted we wait. Hope for her return. Sadly, that never happened, and we gave her up for dead. That was the end of Gwyneth. Or so we thought. One of the acolytes spied her at a holy site, but she escaped in the fog. It was not long after that the blasphemous messages appeared, and we knew it had to be her. Hmm. Okay. Listen. How about we just let sleeping dogs lie, huh? Why not just ignore her? Is Gwyneth really that much of a threat to you? No. That is out of the question. Adam's will is clear in this matter. Heresy cannot be tolerated. Right. I think you deliberately failed. I can tell Gwyneth was your friend. How do I know you didn't deliberately fail? I would never risk defying Adam's will. My faith is my life, and my devotion to Adam is absolute. <sighs> Despite your insults, it is my duty to help you in this matter. And so I will. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. Okay, I guess. <sighs> oh, Listen, our family has gotten a little bigger. Welcome. Fuck off. I fucking hate you people. Seriously. Zealot Ware seems so interested in right. Brother Devin's fast. Hold on. I wonder you. If Zealot Ware seems so you. interested in Brother Devin's fast. Do you have the fast. same voice as Alva? I wonder if he's thinking about Excuse me, Hold on. sister. The vessel is breathtaking, is it not? No, no, no. My mistake, my mistake, my mistake. Okay, let's get out of here because it's weird and I kind of hate it. So I can talk about how much I hate these people. Alright, since I guess we're persecuting heresy today. Let's talk about heretics, huh? That's, that's something worth talking about, I think. So, you may not know this. You might know this. I don't know. I don't know you all that well but if you do mazel tov, i guess okay the literal definition of heresy or being a heretic or whether means simply to think freely that you are a free thinker that's it <laughs> and that's what we're persecuting today i feel like a really good person doing these quests god i hate these people these children bad people i hate them a lot what the heck is this? Scraps torn from some kind of sign or banner. It looks like some pieces are missing. You don't say. Alright. I took a mysterious serum, by the way, before this, so I'm... I was gonna say, that's why I'm not taking much radiation damage, but I'm actually taking a lot of radiation damage still. What the bots? Okay. Uh, listen. Here is the attitude Grimm has towards, you know, religion, faith, and anything of the like. Gulper? Dogmeat, there's a gulper over there! You might want to pay attention a little bit. I'm just saying. I shall use all of my VATS powers. Uh, let's think about- I'm gonna shoot you in the tail once. I'm gonna plug you in the body, good girl. Yeah, you like it. I think gulpers are weak in the tail. I'm not sure. Uh, Oh, I just shot through that gravestone somehow. That's cool. I think these are destructible. Ah! I knew it! Whoa, what's going on here? Mole rat! My ancient enemy, the mole rat! Now you will die by my hand! Why am I using the railway rifle? 
This uh, this gun is only good in bats. Okay, we need best friend shotgun for this task. Oh god, oh god, they're doing this the slimy slippery move. It's so gross. I hate how these things move. Okay, just watch how they move. Just watch how they move, and I'll t they'll do like a, okay. You're not you're not doing the thing I told you about. They do like they get real low, and then they'll like juke and jive left and right, and then they'll chomp your face real bad, man. It's the pits. Bat. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um. Now. Grim is not of the mind. Oh, you're a rat stag. I thought you were a wolf. My bad. Jesus. <laughs> okay, Grim is not of the mind to say that one way of living is better than any other way of living because there is no basis, in fact, to make that claim. I'll tell you right now. Example. If you delve into some ethics or whatever, and you study, say, oh, let's study The Matrix for a bit. The first movie. Because everyone else hates the other movies. But the first movie, where there's a guy named Cypher... He's out of the Matrix, and he turns in all of his buddies in the real world. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the movie, please. I don't want to explain this, because it's too complicated. So he turns in his buddies, so he can return to the fake world where he can live a life of decadence. And ethically speaking, you cannot fault him for that. Sure, he's turning his back on his friends, which is a bit of a dick move, I must say. You know, personally speaking, I think that's a dick move. But... Ethically speaking, him wanting to have one way of life versus another way of life, you can't say that's a bad thing. Apply this to the children of Adam, you feel me? Jesus Christ, these bears, though! These bears! <laughs> Jesus, there's another one right behind me, isn't there? Okay, fuck. <laughs> okay. Whew, that got the blood pumping. Alright, I found another one. Um... What was I saying? I can't even remember. <laughs> Wakatak Station? She must be staying at a campground. At least the directions are clear. That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> Can we please not run any more bears along the way? That's all I ask for. Okay. So people choosing to worship Adam or whatever, that's fine. You can't really fault them for choosing that way of life. And you can take it to the extreme as well by saying like, um, I don't know, if you choose to be a drug addict can't really fault the person for being a drug addict because they're just choosing their way of life saying that being a drug addict is a worse way to live than i don't know a, a hedge fund manager or something i mean any distinction you make is purely subjective right you, you can't really make that distinction this is an entertaining video isn't it so these children of adam i have no problem with them doing their thing whatever Whatever, you know, helps you sleep at night. I hate medium rifles. I am not touching that. Uh, here we go. Holotape. Let us listen to the holotape. It's done. The messages are posted. I... I know it could mean my life, but the children must know. I was paging through a pre-war tome and thought... Oh, the atom. A tiny speck of matter surrounded by death. I'm trying to listen to all of it here, goddammit. Fucking wolves. It's a lie. Take them all. It's not real. We aren't all infinite worlds. Just empty space. Dead. Cold. That we are nothing. The professor won't be pleased by my messages. But I'm not afraid. I'm going to start moving things to the old church by the West Access Road in case... In case they decide to join me. I... I just hope I'm not too late to save them from Adam's life. Right on. Uh... What? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, I found a thing, Longfellow. Hey. I'm listening. You want... You want a bullstring pack leg thing? I hope so, because I'm giving it to you. Alright, where is it? Here you go. This is good, right? Oh, that's actually really good. I might want that myself. Hold on. What do I have? What is my right leg? Oh, no. I like I like that. Better. Okay. Wear that, long fella. Okay. Good job, buddy. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here's my beef, though, with, like, 
living a life where you sort of uh, give up on your old free thinking kind of deal, right? Where you sort of surrender that right you have or whatever, like the children of Adam do. Uh, that's fine. That's your prerogative. But if you what you're buying into, your religion or your whatever thought processes is, is is hurting other people, then I personally have beef with that, and that is why I don't like the children of Adam. Why I don't like Cipher from the Matrix. All right. So yeah, do whatever you want. But if it hurts other people, then it's fucked. I think that's a simple rule to live by. Right? Right? Sure. I don't know. <laughs> That's grim ethics in a nutshell. Stop. Hello. This is a sacred place. Why have you come here? Are you seeking the truth of nothing? Man, I don't give a shit about any of this. The what are you even talking about? The truth of nothing. What does that mean? If you are truly prepared to hear it, then I will tell you. The children of Adam have been deceived by Martin, by Tectus. It's a false gospel, all of it. What they don't want you to know is that Adam is but a tiny moat in the vastness of nothing. Nothing is the true nature of existence. I have seen it with my own eyes. A void so vast and empty, like a night sky without stars. I know it is difficult to accept, but you must, and so must the others. They deserve to know the truth. Man, I bet you are very fun at parties. <laughs> ah, dude, what if you're wrong? What if you misunderstood what you saw and overreacted? Do you really believe that everyone is wrong about Adam except you? I can't... I can't think about that now. I've strayed so far from the path. I don't dare look back. You should just GTFO. If you stay here... You're as good as dead. You need to leave this island and never come back. Hmm. There's wisdom in your words. If I cannot save the children of Adam from their blindness, perhaps I can spread the word elsewhere. Yes. Nothing's will becomes more clear to me now. I must spread the message to all who will hear, no matter how far the journey. You should tell Richter and the others that I'm dead. I can't risk them following me. Thank you for opening my eyes to that which I could not see. Whatever. J just get out of here, you weirdo. Stay away from my settlements. We don't need none of your weird religion in my settlements. All right, we're starting a new religion. It's religion of action Jesus. We're bringing him back. All right? Well, sort of. We're just rebranding. JC. Be action oriented. You like that, hey, long fella? What? And our Bible will be um, many, many early 90s action movies and 80s action movies, including, uh, but not limited to, The Terminator 2, Predator, Bloodsport, and more I can't think of at the moment. What do you Hi. think of all that, Mr. Longfellow? I bet you like that. I bet that's going to make our relationship peachy key. How do you think things are between us? Well, I'm still here, ain't I? You must be doing something right. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it. All right. Hey, Longfellow. Oh, nothing. Back to it, then. Yes, yes. Check this out. I found this whiskey in a shack. I'm going to drink it right in front of you, and we're going to be best friends because of it. Right? <laughs> Take a swig for me while you're at it. Ha <laughs> ha! No sharing. <laughs> Let's leave. This mission has been dumb. I'm glad it's over. Let's do more dumb missions for the stupid children of Adam. Hold on. Everybody shut up. I want to turn up my, uh, my tumbleweed tunes a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Let's try to get this right. There we go. All right. Nice. Nice. License free music. Ah, I love the sound of that. Won't ban this one, YouTube. Haha, <laughs> am I right? Okay. Find Gwen uh -oh. and put an end to her heresy. That is your task. Yeah, I killed her so bad, so bad. She is like dead Sister twice. Gwyneth I killed her so hard. Won't be troubling you any longer. She brought it on herself. Won't ask you for the details. Doesn't really matter to me. You've done well. Proved your devotion, and more important, your loyalty. Adam smiles on you today, sister. Whatever, nerd. Great. 
So where do I cash in my Adam Bucks exactly? Since you've served Adam well, I'll overlook your insult. Here, take this. It's not just a weapon, it's one of our sacred artifacts. Go forth and show no mercy to the enemies of Adam. Neat! Well, it would be neat if, you know, virtually every enemy in this game didn't have radiation resistance, but whatever, it looks kind of nifty. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? I want to know more about you, Grand Zealot Rictor. You seem different from most of the people here. Why is that? Brazen thing, aren't you? All right. I was a soldier before I came to Adam. Lieutenant Brian Richter, Recon, Capital Region. Had been in a long-term scouting mission up north when we picked up the trail of a reserve of fusion cores from an old disposal facility. We'd made our way into the containment cellar. Only our team engineer hadn't set the door locks right. Fifteen inches of lead-wrapped steel slammed shut behind us and locked tight. Not to open again until division. And I got to watch them all crumble and die while I lasted on two sips of water a day and the occasional roach. The High Confessor. He was still a zealot back then. He eventually turned up a couple weeks later. They cracked the seal on the door, pulled me out, dragged me back here, where the Archimist nursed me back to health. It's only thanks to Adam's blessing that I didn't die. Vomiting my guts onto the floor, forced to eat my own shedding hair. Now, did you have any other questions? Well, that sounds fun. What army were you in? You were a soldier? With what army? They called themselves the Enclave. They were a force to be reckoned with in their day, but now... Well, it's been a long time since then. I serve Adam now. That's neat. Anything else you want done? Are there any other tasks you need done? Nothing formal. But you can usually count on some beast lurking at our holy sites in the fog. If you're looking to put something in the ground. Right, okay. You and Gwyneth got a thing going on? Or did you, since I totally killed her dead, like super hard? Was there something between you and Sister Gwyneth? <laughs> no. She was just a good woman. Touch odd. But someone you could rely on. Always managed to turn up a cache of Myra Lurk eggs on beaches you thought were clear. We were better with her. Shame to watch her slip away. Can't be helped now. Sure, right, I'm Nothing done. Nothing for now. Fine. Little bitch. Okay, uh, who else needs stuff done? I think we have to talk to the main man of this place. 